Hi everybody. Um, I hope you're having a good morning. Oh God, the light. Let me see if I can move this. There we go. Sorry, we're in my bathroom. So the lighting is not the best, but I um, just wanted to come and show you kind of how it's, uh, what I do on a rough morning like I'm having today. Uh, Brielle was up a lot last night, so I didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, she's got appointments this morning, so I've got to get out the door, but I don't have a ton of time to do, you know, a full long makeup job, nor do I want to do that every day. So this is kind of what I do on mornings. Um, when I just, you know, need to get out the door and get out the door quickly. So I've already put, um, Sotox. You can see that. I've already put Sotox on and, um, follow that up with Skin Therapist and let that sink into my skin. So I actually start with my eyes. Um, so I am going to use concealer number three and our concealer brush. And um, these are waterproof concealers, so they work great as an eye primer. So I'm just gonna quickly, and sorry, I'm kind of looking off to the side in the mirror, but I'm gonna quickly put these on my, put this on my lid, all over. Um, it gives a nice waterproof base for any shadow um, that I'm gonna put on. Okay. All right, so today, instead of shadows, I am actually going to use our, let me grab it, bronzer. So it's a nice, if you want just a neutral color, um, you know, it's, it's a nice natural brown. Um, if you're traveling, this works really well because you don't have to bring as much with you. Um, so I am going to use, this is just the large shadow brush and again just right in the bronzer you don't need much again everything we have here is super pigmented and so I'm just going to kind of press that all over my lid so you can see this kind of gives me that nice neutral color um, gives you something on your eyelids. You can see, super easy, like I said, quick if you're traveling. Um, you don't have to bring as much with you, which is always great because I know if your husband's or anything like mine, he's like, oh, how much stuff do you need, you know, just for overnight? And it's like, well, I need all my stuff. You know, men don't get it. Okay, so I'm just gonna literally go with that for my shadow. Um, the next thing I am going to use is our Perfect Eyeliner, and this is a fabulous liquid liner, and can you see that point? It's like, it's like a brush, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's soft, it's a brush, it just, I've never used liquid liner like this before, I've honestly never had a lot of luck with liquid liner, but this seems to work. So for me, I have to pull my eyelid and I'm gonna have to kind of look over here, so. But just short strokes across the lid, close to your lash line. And then what I tend to do is I make it thicker on the outside of my eye. So I go back and do that. And then the same thing on the opposite eye. Again, you're just doing short, short, quick strokes across the eye. And then kind of build it up a little bit on the outside. You don't have to. Um, that's my personal preference. You can see, um, and really, oh gosh, I lost the lid. Here it is. Really the point of eyeliner is to make your lashes look thicker. Um, so you'll see when I put my mascara on, it actually makes a big difference. And then I kind of make sure it's even. Oh, this side needs a little more. All right, there we go. So we're going to run with that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're, um, I'm going to leave my mascara for last. So now I'm going to work on my face. 
and of course that means concealer and foundation. Um, I use Gina Beige in the foundation, and this is my palette. So here's my foundation. This is concealer um, one. I use that for redness, and concealer three I use for like um, spots, blemishes if I need it, um, or I use it like I did here for primer on my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to get my brush, and this is my own personal palette, which is why I would do this. Um, if I was working on someone else, I would scrape a little bit out and put it on either back, the back of my hand or um, a foundation palette or even like wax paper. Um, but literally, I'm just getting a little bit on there. And then I'm going to go right into the concealer as well um, to blend it because I do have, you can't really see it, I don't think as well in this video, but I do have a lot of redness across my cheeks. And then I'm literally dabbing and it's super light and blending. And again, this is, this RCMA foundation is, um, it's wax based and a little bit seriously goes a long way. Like you saw, I just dabbed my brush in, um, and I'm getting, you know, coverage that I need. It's covering the, the, um, the redness that I have. Um, if I need more. Um, like on a night out, you know, where you want to maybe be a little more made up. Again, this is a quick running out the door routine. Um, you certainly, it is buildable. Um, if you have, like I have a fellow beauty guide and she has cute little freckles and she wants her freckles to show through her foundation. She doesn't need thick layers. Um, she can certainly, she does that. And then finally, we'll just do a little bit on my forehead. And again, all I'm doing is I'm literally tapping it in the foundation and um, in the concealer just to kind of blend them. And then there you go. I've covered my redness. That's all it takes. So foundation is set. Now we're gonna again go with the premise that we're quick, we wanna get out the door, um, we wanna get moving, and we don't wanna carry a lot of products with us. So I'm gonna go back to my bronzer that I used on my eyes. And I'm just using um, a blush brush and super, again, super pigmented, so I'm gonna kind of wipe it off on there. And what I'm gonna do to see where I need my bronzer, I'm gonna suck my cheek in, and you can see where the bone is. And I'm just gonna kinda of go below that with my bronzer. And we're gonna do it again on the other side. And you don't need much with this. Like a little seriously goes a long way. Then, to give it a little bit of highlight, um, this is a set of three blushes. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to go into number six. This is our highlighting blush. Um, and it's it's perfect for everything. Um, I love it. But again, just a little bit. Move this. A little bit in. Kind of tap it so you don't need as much. And I'm just go above where I had just to kind of highlight the tops of my cheeks. Um, I am also going to do kind of where the sun would hit me. So across my forehead and down my nose. So there we have that. Super easy. All right, now if we, um, you can finish up lips however, um, really however you want. Um, I think today I am going to do one of our creamy lipsticks um, with a liner. So I'm thinking, um, I want to do pink today. So I'm going to do number three liner. And these liners, our enduring lip liners are great. I don't know if you can see this. So the tip has kind of an angle. And we're just going to line. Line my lips. There we go. And we have the lip brush. And we are going to go into, and I'll have to, I'll have to let you know what number lip creamy lipstick this is. I don't know offhand. But I'm literally just going to use the lip brush. And paint it on.
Sorry, I can't talk and put lip product on. All right, there we go, that's set. Okay, now I prefer to do my, this is our 10 years younger setting spray. You don't have to do this. Um, I'll take any years younger I can get, so I'm going to. Some people do it before powder, some people do it after. Um, I don't know, I like to do it before. I'm gonna do a T and then an X across my face. While that dries, I'm gonna use our Perfect Mascara. Fibers, built in, one step. And I'd love to know, is there science behind why every woman, when they put mascara on, like has to have their mouth open? I'd love to know. If anybody has any science behind that, please tell me. Um, one tip with your mascara. When you're loading your mascara brush, do not pump it up and down. That introduces air. It can make your mascara clumpy and bacteria. So swirl it inside. And again, one step. Super easy. And again, this mascara is buildable. Um, I am only running around today taking Brielle to therapy. Um, so I do not need crazy lashes. I'm not going anywhere exciting. So I'm gonna do one coat. The last thing I am going to do is our perfect powder. It is um, translucent. So it does not add any color to your face. It just sets your makeup and gets rid of some of the shine. Now you're seeing shine on me from this crazy light in my bathroom. Again, I'm gonna use the all over powder brush. Dip it in. I'm gonna start on my forehead. Kind of go down. All right, and literally, there you have it. I don't know, it's been 12 minutes, but I've been talking, so normally I can do this in probably five. Um, so there you have, I'll take a finish, and a picture of the finished product, but um, a few simple products, quick, easy to bring with you if you're gone, um, if you're going away um, and you don't wanna bring a lot. Again, I use the same bronzer on my cheeks that I did on my eyes. Um, it's super versatile. So there you have it, a nice, quick, easy routine. Um, thanks everybody for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. I've gotta go get Brielle up and get out of here. So, all right, bye guys.